now we move on to the women's gold medal match and another chance for Korea, but also a chance for the Russian Federation. Ksenia Perova, number three after qualifying this week. And Ksenia Perova went through the eliminations, rolling past Katuna Lorik, seven to three, defeating team Kristina Timofieva, seven to three, and scoring a six to four win over Tanya Ting. That opened your eyes, just the fact that she was able to beat Tanya Ting. And well, it just shows that everybody is human and everybody is beatable. So there's a lot of people saying that Koreans are never beatable. Well, here's the photo and video evidence of that. And I mean, it just goes down to your training ethic. How, what are you willing to do to be able to be the best in the world? She'll be up against one of the best in the world right here, Jamie Sun, number one after qualifying. The great Korean archer. Coming through the eliminations with victory is over Alejandra Valencia, six to nothing, to Iana Dashi Dorjeva. Beat her in a shoot off. But then, and defeated Chong Hee Jin, seven to one. So, Jamie Sun, 19 years old, number one in the world, 9.3, right around 9.4 points per arrow. 27 victories in her brief career already. And has had success before here on Coney Alti Beach. In fact, a year ago here in Antalya, won gold medals here. In fact, defeated Kibo Bay on Coney Alti Beach with a gold medal here in Antalya in just her third international appearance. So can Senia Perova do what Tanya Ting just did? Defeat one of the mighty Korean archers. Wow. Jamie Sun opens with a nine. And Perova was very strong this morning in team competition. Yeah, she was. And I mean, I was uh, reading some of the live chat that was going on during the match, and a lot of people saying that she has a little bit of an un unconventional form. And uh, my answer to that is yes, she does. But whatever form you choose to do if you do it consistently you could be shooting with an anchor on your eyeball it doesn't matter what you do you just do it exactly the same every single time nice. didn't know Yek also have an unconventional form yeah and i mean and he's an olympic champion victor yeah. rubin has an unconventional form yes he does some people because he's got a thumb tucked thumb. in behind his yeah. neck and right. he also doesn't shoot with a finger sling on the bow hand and I mean, that's unconventional, but he did it consistently and he won the Olympics with it. It doesn't matter how you shoot. It just matters if you can be good at doing it and consistently do it the same way all the time. Oh, so close. Ksenia Perova came so close to winning that set right there. That last shot just out of the 10 ring. Yeah, and she needed that 10 to take that set, but we're tied at one. So settle back, relax. We may be in for another nail biter, who knows? <laughs> After watching that match between Tanya Ting and Chung Hee Jin, now Chaemi Sun of Korea trying to come through and win another gold medal for her nation. Three gold medals already, but all of them have come in team competition. This would be the first individual gold medal of the day for Korea. Mm. And of course, it would be absolutely huge for Russia and Ksenia Perova to pull off the upset. Well, you can hear the big Russian contingent that's in the crowd right now cheering her on and giving her as much support as possible. And sometimes the Koreans are some people that actually ship loads of people to the Olympics to be a cheering squad so that their archers can get a good uh, support base even from the stand. So Russia has hopped onto that one and they're doing exactly the same thing. Nine. Jamie Sun. Nine. Both open with nines. Perova ranked 27th in the world. Jamie Sun, number one. Wow. And shooting like number one in the world. Nine. Advantage, Korea. And that's a clinch. 
And two more set points going to the Korean archer, Chae Sun. Nine. And you don't, I don't want to just uh, harp on a point, but I still think back to that last arrow for Parova at the end of the first set. Mm -hmm. And what a difference that would make in this match right now. It would be tied two apiece. Yeah, it would be. Instead of her being down 3-1. Yeah, and it's right now what Parova's got is uh, I affectionately call nining yourself to death. You just keep shooting nines, <laughs> and you just surround the ten ring, and you scare it. May I be smitten by that? <laughs> and you, you've scared the ten ring, but you've got it pinned down. It's not going anywhere. So what she just needs to do now, in my experience, is just have that relaxed follow through. And the nines usually come from just trying a little bit harder than what you need to do. If you just relax and try soft, just let it come and let it come. Then let it the, come. That's when the ten start to come out. And archery is not one of those sports that you can, you know, like muscle through or anything. Right. There's a lot of sports that look like you have to muscle through. Like uh, an example my coach and I used last night was uh, weightlifting. There is muscling through and everything, but at some point you just need to relax and let everything happen. Prova, let's see if she can let it flow. It flows low. Yeah, still a nine though. It's just out, but much closer than Perova's arrow. Cassinia. There it is. It's pay dirt. Yeah, she's happy. <laughs> I put a smile on her face. And you have to do that. It's, it's better for your mind if when you shoot well. That's a good shot. <laughs> she's just going to answer with that. When you shoot well, it is better for you to reaffirm yourself of your good shooting, of your good shot, of the, the good thing that you just did and accomplished. And putting a smile on your face, even though you might have to force the smile onto your face, is actually a good thing for your brain. She may have to force a smile right here if wow. Jamie Sun does what I expected that she would do, and she did, and she put that set away and goes up five to one. And it's just those little moments, little yeah. moments. I mean, the score is misleading. It's five to one. <laughs> you would think that Jamie Sun is running away with this thing. Parova's been in it. She's yeah. had some great shots. She's had opportunities. Yeah, I mean, they tied the first set, and Choi has won by a single point in the, each subsequent set. So it's not a runaway match for sure, and I agree with you 100% that the, the set score numbers can be misleading to the actual raw score that was shot on the field of play. Mm -hmm. That being said, Jimmy Sun taking advantage of the opportunities, being solid when she has to be, coming up with answers, counterpunching. Mm -hmm. When Parova shot that 10, what's Jimmy Sun do? She <laughs> counterpunches. She comes back with a 10 of her own. Yeah. And that plays on the mind. So. Yes, it does. Sometimes a part of me wonders if Koreans just like hold off on shooting 10s until their competition has shot a 10 and say, okay, I'm going to match that and maybe shoot one more 10 than you do just to take that set away from you. Parova still got a chance though. If she can win the next two sets, she can force a shoot off. And that's gotta be her mindset right now. Wow. That's a good and shot. She falls behind early on here in the fourth set. Something to note though is that Parova doesn't have any arrows outside the gold where Choi has won. So that's a positive Nine. way of thinking of things. What were you talking about, nining yourself to death a moment ago? <laughs> yeah, she has been nining herself uh -huh. to death. That may be the case. Chae son oh. with a nine herself, but she's still got the one-point advantage in the set. Parova absolutely, positively needs to put the point of this arrow in the middle Nine. of the target, does not. She's, she's at the mercy right now of Chae son and the 19-year-old from Korea shows no wow. mercy. It's over. <laughs> that was a very confident shot to take that match and the win for the gold medal. And a lot of archers you might see sometimes just tie up a little bit on that last shot, thinking a little bit too much. But she just went up there, brought that string back to her face, pulled her arrow through that clicker, and shot the confident shot she always does. And that's Korea's first individual gold medal of the day.
and their fourth of the day. And their fourth of the day, but not bad shooting at all by Kasey no. Korova at all. Like. And it sounds like we're sugarcoating it, Crispin. It's yeah. a seven-one score is the final score, but Perova's right there in it. She uh, is. And it goes back to what you were saying a minute ago. You can look at these scores and go, nah, that was a lopsided match. Not no, really. No, not at all. Just one point is the difference between gaining two set points and possibly only tying it with one.